ahead and get some act right. Tell your neighbor to slap yourself and get some act right. But anyway, you get it, you need to get some act right. Amen. Jesus. For it is pleasant. It is pleasant when God sees our praises. It is pleasant when God sees us worshiping him in spirit and in truth. It is pleasant. And it says, and that praise is coming. People, we will draw people in our praise. We will allow people to come. You know what? Something that often happens at my church, we can, I could be doing praise and worship or something. Somebody just walk in the room. And they will want to turn around. But see, once you praise, and you doing it in, in that spirit and in truth, that person ain't gonna be able to walk out that door. Right. Something that you said or, or did, it had, had, had gave that person that, that push to go on. Mm -hmm. But you gotta allow your praise to be comely. Psalm 7, 17 says, I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness mm -hmm. and will sing praise to the name of the Lord most high. Mm -hmm. You gotta have some, he, he's righteous. He's, he's right, he's, he's right, he's never wrong. He's righteous, y'all. Amen. And, and, and we'll sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. He is above any and everything. That's why I don't get when people try to idolize it and praise all these other things when God should be the one that you should be praising the most. Amen. You try to praise your friend, try to praise the teachers, try to praise all of this, but you ain't even giving God praise. So how do you expect to praise somebody else? You ain't even giving God the praise that he uh, uh, awfully desires, that, that praise that he is, is that, that is that obligation for us to do. Yeah. But you got to give God praise because he is the most high. He is omnipotent. He is alpha and omega, the beginning yes. and the end, yes. but he is yes. the most high. Psalm 63 and 3 says, because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Yeah. Because that loving kindness. That's why I say you gotta have love on the inside. And you gotta let the day be kind. You gotta be kind. Start not just going out and giving something to be giving people a, a nice smile, a nice hug. You don't you, you don't even have to know everybody all the time. Amen. You don't have to. But it's better than life that and, and you should your lips should praise the Lord. So the praise should be coming out of your lips. You should open up your mouth and say, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, that you woke me up another day. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, that you healed my body. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, that you healed my grieving heart. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, that you allowed me to walk on in spite of the devil trying to come and attack me. Hallelujah, you got to open up your mouth. Amen. Thank you, God. Psalm 69, 34 says, let the heaven and earth praise him, the seas and everything that move it. They're in. If you got if you if you got activity of your limbs, use it to praise the Lord. That's right. Even if you don't, you can still open up your mouth. Sure. And even if you can't open up your mouth, you better be trying to lift up your hands or something. Yeah. And even if, if you can't do that, allow it to search in your heart where you can be thinking that you want to praise the Lord. Amen. For those people that can't even talk, that can't move. But whatever you use, use it to praise the Lord. Amen. And use everything. You gotta move. Sometimes so I, I like that everything that move it there in because sometimes in life you gotta move to the left and you gotta move to the right. But anyway you move, you gotta keep moving. Mm -hmm. You gotta keep on going. That's good. You can't stop at one point, but you gotta keep on walking. That's why I love that song, Walk, walk by Faith Each Day. Because you gotta keep on walking. Mm -hmm. Whatever, no matter what comes against you, death and the family, nothing, you gotta keep on walking. Yeah. Because in that walking is your, is your blessing. In that walking is your healing. In your walking, by you just being obedient and walking, I'm telling you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. By just walking. Just walking with Jesus. Mm -hmm. yeah. Walk on, I love that song, walk on by faith each day. Right. On a Monday, walk on. Yeah. Yeah. On a Tuesday, walk on. Let Jesus be your God. You got to allow him to be your God. You can't try to put him on the back burner, don't want him to lead you because it's not the way that you want him to be. But you gotta let Jesus be your God. Yeah. Psalms 118, 21 says, I will praise thee, for thou hast heard me and art become my salvation. He is yeah. your salvation. And trust me, he hears our praises. Amen. He don't always gotta answer, but he hears us. My God. Right. But it's our trust. We have to start crying out unto the Lord. We can't be there and be all quiet and expect the Lord to work when you're not asking for what you need. 
You got to start crying out to the Lord. That's why I love that, that he has heard me. He's ensuring us that he's heard, that he is hearing all the praises, all the worship, all the needs, all the wants. He's hearing us. But he's ensuring us and that he are, be our salvation. He has saved us. Yeah. Yes. Amen. He has came to save us and be our salvation. Yes. And it's so much power in just knowing that he came back to, to be our salvation, to be our, our, our savior. That second Samuel 22 and 4 says, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. Yeah. You got to call upon the Lord, just like I said. And he's worthy to be praised. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, he, and, and by that praise, he will save you from your enemies. Amen. Your enemies shall become your footstool. Amen. They shall be your stepping stone Amen. to go on where you want to go in life. Amen. But you got to first praise them. He, he's already saying that you got to first call upon him, and then you got to praise him. All right. And then after you do that, you should be saved from your enemies. Mm. Amen. But it all comes down to that one thing, that praise. Yeah. Yeah. Psalms 18, 49 says, there, Therefore will I give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the heathen, and sing praises unto thy name. Yeah. You can't be afraid of where you're going to do it, in front of the people you're going to do it, but you got to give them praise and give them thanks. And make sure that you're giving thanks to the to the right one. Don't be giving thanks to the other one. That you think that's your God and you think that's your Lord. And you give thanks to the Holy One, the God Almighty that we serve, the God that I pray to, the God that I talk about, the God that I live through. You gotta give God the praise. Amen. And give thanks unto thee. Oh Lord. You gotta call him, oh Lord. Among the heathen and sing praises unto thy name. You gotta sing praises unto his name. Let his name be lifted among all the earth. Amen. Make sure everybody in the streets here, your people down the block, people two miles away, open up your mouth. Amen. Amen. Acts 16, 25, 26. I love this scripture right here. It says, and at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. Yeah. And the prisoners heard them. Yeah. And suddenly there was a great earthquake yeah. so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. Some things will be shaken in the spiritual realm. And immediately all the doors were open. He didn't say some doors were open. But all the doors were open and everyone's beds were loose. Yeah. Amen. Through your praise is where comes your freedom. Yeah. Yeah. Through your praise you shall be released from that bondage, that thing which is very holding you back. But through your praise is where the only thing that's going to come. But you got to praise him. Yeah. That's why it's that essential. That's why I love that scripture. Praise you, the Lord. You got to praise him. Yeah. It don't matter how you praise, but just that you give him praise. Yeah. Yeah. Because through that praise comes so much more. Yeah. Amen. Through that praise comes obedience. Through that praise yeah. comes, comes love. Yeah. Through that praise comes that many broken heart. Through that praise comes a new life. Through that praise yeah. comes a new walk. Through that praise yeah. comes a new talk. Through that praise comes a new transformed mind. Through that praise comes healing. Yeah. A lot of people in here stand in the need of healing. But he's just saying tonight, if you just praise me, if you just give me that little praise, it don't got to be a lot of praise, but if you just give me a little praise, give me all the praise, give me all the worship. That's why I love that song by John Legend, all of me loves all of you. You got to, all of you got to love all of him. Anything that is world, you can transform it around and use it for Jesus. All of you got to love all of him. Yeah. Because he loves you all your courage and imperfection, all your wrongdoing. He loves every part of you. Amen. So the least you can do is love him back and give him more. Yeah. The least you can do is lift your hands and say hallelujah. Yeah. The least you can do is come on and worship him. Yeah. But he's saying you got to praise me. He's saying I owe God all praise. Somebody look to your neighbor and say I owe God all praise. I owe God all praise. Praise, not just a partial of the praise, but I go, oh God, all the praise for what He's done in my life. I, I, I can only speak for myself. I owe God all the praise for meeting my sister for the first time this week. I owe God all the praise for connecting family relationships that have been broken for years. I owe God all the praise for giving me life and strength in my body. I owe God all the praise for keeping my mama safe and not letting her die in that car accident. I owe God all the praise for letting me see another day. I owe God all the praise for strengthening me in my body where I'm grieving. I owe God all the praise for protecting my family, Lord. I owe God all the praise today. That's where that I come. Because you got to make it personal. Yes. Amen. People playing with God. You got to make it personal. Yes. 
Today is the day to make it personal. Today is the day to say for yourself that you owe God all the praise. Today is the day to walk on on faith and trust him. Today is the day to just have that faith the size of a mustard seed. Today is the day to be free. Amen. Today is the day to praise, to worship, to, to lift him up. Today is the day, y'all. Yes. Yes.